Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Batman issue number 51. All right, so this one was a little bit different. Uh, the, the wedding was obviously called off by both parties leaving the scene before actually seeing each other at the altar, so to speak, that rooftop altar. So uh, Tom King, he's writing this issue. Uh, Lee Weeks on art. Good art, man. Wow. Elizabeth Breitweister, color. Clayton Cowles on letters. And uh, the, the art team is also doing the main cover. Uh, Kari Andrews, great variant cover. Dugs it. So Tom King has decided to put Bruce Wayne on jury duty to see if, what's his face, uh, 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 Mr. Freeze is guilty of the murder of three women because, yeah, there's a slight drop in temperature that was verified and there's all sorts of crazy stuff happening here you know what i'm saying like it, it's it's essentially a very straightforward story and i dug it but then the end happened and i'm just gonna spit it out there's no way to really get around it this was weird man and this is the one thing that you don't want to see batman stopped Mr. Freeze and and forced a confession out of him. But then on the stand, he says, no, I didn't do it. 11 of the 12 jurors are willing to just take Batman at his word and vote, yes, Mr. Freeze is guilty of the murder of these three women. But one juror is refusing, and that juror is Bruce Wayne. Come on, man. Like, I get it. I get it. We're trying to do this whole thing where, oh, Batman made a mistake because freaking, you know, he's, he's, you know, really bothered about the whole Catwoman thing, walking out on him, stood him up at the altar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, at this point, I feel like Tom King isn't going to last long enough for that issue number 100 actual wedding. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I get the distinct feeling that at some point, Dan Daddio or somebody is just going to say, listen, man, sales have practically bottomed out on the number one comic book in the history of comic books. All right. Sorry, bruh, but um, we, we can't keep you around. Like, I, I, like they're going to move him over to a different title or something. I don't know. I hear people sitting here saying, oh, no, uh, Tom King obviously doesn't like Batman. To me, that doesn't make any sense. I think that's an absurd uh, suggestion. Uh, like, I get it from the esoteric level that, you know, maybe there's something about him that he doesn't like Batman the way that we, the fans, like Batman. He's taking me in a direction that, that we don't expect him to go in and he's just not coming back. And yeah, I, I get it from that point of view. But to suggest that he actually doesn't like Batman, almost as though there's an insinuation that he hates Batman, that he's trying to sabotage Batman. If anybody thinks along those lines, you, <laughs> listen, I, there's some numbers that I can have you call, all right? But um, I don't think that anybody's really going quite that far. What I am thinking, though, is that Tom King has a plan for Batman. He has an idea from Bat for Batman, but he's just not, he, he's not where we are. And the story that he's trying to tell, just the idea, guys, that there's so many filler issues, you know what I'm saying? So many issues that, I'm mean, like, clearly they're, they're filler issues. I know that he probably would say no, but the, the bank robber would say he didn't rob the bank either. So, like, when push comes to shove, there's been a lot of issues that have been thrown. And I'm sitting here thinking, okay, but there's going to be a nice buildup and we're going to see what happens but there was absolutely zero payoff whatsoever in regards to issue number 50, the so-called wedding issue, where there was no wedding, none, nowhere, uh -uh, nothing. It was, it was just all over the place. It was all over the place. It was more of a memorial issue where a whole bunch of artists got to come together and say, hey, man, here you go. Look, here's a nice little picture of, of, of Catwoman. And here's a picture of, of Batman. Here's a picture of both of them together. Dude. Dude, that's not what I wanted to see. They promised that this was going to be a wedding issue. There was no wedding. I'm pretty sure that I was gypped. So I'm thinking, okay, he's got a plan. 
See, he wanted that to happen in issue number 50 for whatever reason. So he, he delayed it out. And now I'm thinking this is the time when, when Tom King has to say, okay, man, people are really ticked off at me. Now, I am a former, you know, I am Tom King, former CIA operative. I need to really bust out some serious Batman super spy stuff and make people go, oh, bro. I, Batman sales are about to drop off. It's like that. It's like that. Um, there just aren't that many people who have the entire collection of Batman who are willing to 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 say, okay, sure. Uh, you may notice I don't actually have the issue in my hands this week. I'm happy with the digital copy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't. I don't even need to hold that in my freaking um, hard drive, man. Comics, uh, Comicsology holds it for me. It's 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 coming. It's coming soon. All right, the bat apocalypse. It's coming soon. This needs to be figured out, and it needs to be figured out asap. Now, yesterday, this comic needs to have a much better direction, quick, because if all of a sudden Batman sales drop. <laughs> if all of a sudden other comics are, are, are doing better than Batman, yeah, that that's a pretty huge money maker right there. Anyway, uh, mm, it is what it is, dude. Tom King, seriously, I love you. You've done some amazing stories before. We need those stories again because this just is not going to cut it. It's not. All right, guys. Professor Bell, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.